Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Let's go back to the 80s in this week's Tapes of 10. Racing fans will remember a time in Columbus when downtown was turned into a racetrack. In the mid 80s, the Columbus 500 welcomed drivers and spectators from all over. And it was definitely a welcomed boost for local businesses. They've done a remarkable job. It's, it's hard to fathom that this is their first shot at it. The circuit's laid out very well. It's very well thought out. There are some, a number of circuits in the country that have been in existence for 25 years that don't run this smooth. In the mid 80s, around October, this was the scene in downtown Columbus. October 5th, 1985, the first auto race ever through the streets of Columbus. Well, you know, we hadn't had much track time before the race, and so it was still a learning experience out there during the race. It's an exciting track. It keeps you busy the whole time. A mid-sized city playing host to big time Grand Prix auto racing. It took years of labor pains to pull off. It was an expensive endeavor, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Major sponsors pushed to keep the race on the streets. The races would draw tens of thousands of people to Columbus. Saturday is never a big day for the uh, attendance at a race, but uh, we're looking for a big crowd tomorrow. I think we'll, be, we'll approach 50,000 people tomorrow. If you think it was tough getting through the traffic on the streets, you should have tried it up above them. Tenneco Whiskey's coming back out. Who's up on 2305? Skycam pilot Terry Ald had plenty of company over the Columbus 500. There were at least four other helicopters, five advertising tow planes, several private planes, a Skyrider, a blimp, and several balloons. Just like driving a car, uh, as long as everybody follows the rules and uses good manners, it's no problem. But when you get one guy who's a little bit of an outlaw and doesn't pay attention, then you have a problem. Financial problems would ultimately plague the race, and eventually, it was lights out for the big event. It's tough to say how directly transferable the efforts to put on this race would be to the other kind of things Columbus would like to see be part of its future. But with civic pride positively gushing out of anyone who had anything to do with this race right Right now, the attitude has got to be, whatever the project, bring it on. Tom Berman, Eyewitness News. Have an idea for Tapes of 10? Find me on social media and we'll go through the tapes.